Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Michelle Dickinson. I'm Gareth. Do not have a last name. Baston. Thank you. <laughs> you may know us as Nano Girl and Boris on stage in Nano Girl Live. We both work for Nano Girl Labs and we've been touring around the country and we have some spare equipment left over. So we thought we'd show you a couple of experiments that I think are super fun, super sciencey, and a little bit of engineering y too. So, are you feeling under pressure right now, Gareth? Not too much, thankfully. Okay, that's good. Well, you should feel under pressure because on your skin right now is air pressure. It's actually pushing down on you at 101 kilopascals. That's a lot. That is a lot. You don't feel it because luckily the pressure inside you is the same as the pressure outside okay. of you. We're going to show you how much pressure is actually on you right now using this. What do we have here? We have a steel barrel. <laughs> okay, it's a pretty big barrel. It's 202, 220 litres. 200 litres. What we're going to do is we're going to reduce the air pressure in here using a really simple reaction. So we've got some water. Okay. We're going to pour some water into here. I've heated it up to make it a little bit quicker. So we've got some hot water going in there, but it could be cold. But just to save a bit of time, there we go. Oh, that'll do. And you see the water is currently in its liquid state. We're going to convert that water to a different state by heating it up and turning it into a vapour or oh, steam. OK. Right, so barrel is going on our stand. And to heat it up, we need something hot. In this case, we have a flamethrower, pretty useful. Gareth is going to heat it up with a flamethrower until we see steam pouring out of the end. Now what's going to happen as we heat it up is the steam is going to take up much more space than the liquid. And to make space, it's going to push the air out of the hole at the end of the barrel. After we've done the steam bit, what we want to do is cool that steam, which is taking a lot of space, into something much smaller, which is liquid water. To do that, we need something very cold. So I have a watering can down here with some cold water but I thought what could make it more fun is to make it even colder. We had some dry ice lying around that has a boiling point of minus 78.5 degrees centigrade and I'm going to put this into the water and it's going to go through a process called sublimation pretty much where it instantly turns into a gas from a solid because it warms up so quickly. So you can see the steam is pouring out, the air is pushed out. Now we want to actually seal this unit up. So now this is going to be filled with steam and not very much air, which is currently OK because the pressure of the steam is enough to push the barrel sides on the outside and it's equal to the pressure that's pushing on it from the air. So that's going to go on there. We're going to <sighs> rotate it. There we go. That's rotated. A little bit. And now we've got something that is very hot. We're going to mix it with something very cold. What's hopefully going to happen is the steam is going to turn back into liquid water. Ready? Yes. As it does that, the air pressure inside the can is going to reduce until the air pressure on the outside is so high compared to the air pressure on the inside, air pressure should crush this can. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. That is the power of air pressure. That is how you can crush 220 litres of steel drum using just some hot water, some cold water, a flamethrower. I think it's going to go. And that's what we do at Nano Girl Labs. Thanks for joining us. See ya.